Good morning, guys and gals. Fargy here. This is my C6 Z06. It's a 2013. And I'm going to change the oil. This is the second time I've changed the oil on it. I'm going to pull a sample and send it to a laboratory for um, evaluation. And just a little quickie on how I do it. I went out and drove it around. I got the oil up to about 150 uh, degrees F so that it'll pour out nice. There are two drains on this LS7 engine. And I'm going to take the front uh, wheels off first so it's a little easier for me to slide under there. Well, this is the company I use. They'll send you a little package on uh, uh, how you know, to mail it back, basically. Um, I think it runs about $20. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe $18, maybe $25, somewhere in there. And they give you a really nice report on what kind of... Um, metals are in the oil if any some are in there it'll tell you how much additives are left in there it'll tell you quite a lot so the uh the drains on this ls7 motor uh, like i said there's two of them They're right in the middle of your screen that shiny uh shiny drain plug and one other one there in the middle of your screen. So you have to drain both of those. This is a dry sump system. So on the bottom of the oil filter right there, there where my finger is pointing, I've got a circular oil filter tool that fits around the whole bottom of the oil filter and it has little little uh, sharp edges that cut up, that catch on it. And then you just put a wrench in the middle of it. So uh, for this one, for this job, I like that one. That came out pretty well. I'm just letting it drip now before I pull the whole oil filter off. The tool is still attached. There's a little bottle. I just stuck it under what was pouring out and filled it up. And it's going to go in that box there, that other bottle box, whatever you want to call it and then just uh, mail it, just stick it in the mail. Okay, so I'm gonna let this drip. I'm gonna get a little lunch and I'll be back. Okay, so I put my two plugs back in. I happen to like the ones with little magnets on the end and my little magnets did not have anything attached to them except some really, really like microscopic um, iron or steel or something. Just the same normal stuff that I've had out of dozens of engines over my uh, lifetime of owning uh, motor vehicles. So, um, don't put the oil in there. This is a dry sump system that's got a reservoir up here. The oil goes in there. This is a dipstick. Once you fill it, this calls for 10 and a half quarts with the oil filter included. I like to open them up like this so I can pour a little bit slow and I'm still going to get a funnel also. Uh, you might also be interested in knowing that the built-in GM oil life monitor system on the car told me to change this oil at, it ended up being about 4,000 miles, uh, give or take uh, 100 miles. And um, I recommend you use the oil life monitor unless you have a dedicated track car, then you know more about it than what I do probably. But for occasional track, occasional autocross and street driving, just use the oil life monitor. Okay? See how nice that balance is there? That's my favorite funnel. Whoops! <laughs> I thought it was going to go. <laughs> uh, it didn't go. So anyway, um, I'm going to let that dribble for about a minute, and then I'll put the second jug in. So those two jugs will be 10 quarts, and then I'll probably measure it and then top it off. I have some extra uh, of the same oil. I'm using uh, Mobile One Zero W40 European blend. Uh, that's what I recommend. You can argue about other kinds of oil all you want. Check your uh, oil drain plugs. I had mine in, and uh, then I decided to put a little torque wrench on it, 18 
uh, foot pounds, and they were not quite there. So, so check that. Two of them. And I'll show you how to start it up. Uh, I'll show you how to spin the engine over without starting it up, actually, which is kind of a good thing to do when you're just pushing fresh oil all over the place, getting oil pressure, pressure up. Oops, hit my head. All you do is hold the gas pedal wide open. And, whoop, well, I need the key. Okay, let's try that again. Hold the gas pedal all the way down. And watch the oil pressure. You know what? Oh, I take it back. On a C6Z, your oil pressure does not read on the gauge until um, the engine is running. But anyway, there it is. Um, cranking it over, spinning it over though, is still a good idea. I just thought, on my C5, I think I would get oil pressure on the gauge. On the C6, something different about the gauges. Anyway, that's good. I'm gonna let it idle now, and I am going to look for leaks. Let's do that together. Let's look for leaks. shut it down for uh, like between I think like 8 to 15 minutes I might be off on that you can look it up but I think that's probably pretty good 8 to 15 minutes you just let it sit before you check the uh, dip stick okay you know in my opinion you don't really have to get it up to full operating temperature like 200 degrees F you just let it run like this for a while because the oil volume is not going to change between 100F and 200F. It's really not going to change. Um, so I'm going to shut it off and then let it sit and then check it. Well, I'll finish uh, putting the race tires on. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and I will read this for you. I'm not sure it'll show up on the um, computer screen, but the level is right there to the first hole. And anywhere between that first hole and the top hole is good. Uh, so I am going to add another half a quart. And that will bring it up. And then I'll check it uh, at the race on Sunday again. Okay, so that's about it. Um, getting ready to put the race tires back on there. And uh, call it good. Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Ring the bell if you want notification. Be safe, have fun. Froggy out, bye bye. Oh, just one more thing to reset the uh, oil uh, mileage uh, calculator on the car. Press the start button once. Find the oil life monitor. Uh, let's see, hatch, no, low fuel, no, change engine oil. Uh, that's just the warning. We need to find the monitor. There it is. It's the trip button will bring up the oil life monitor. See, it says 1%. Now you press the trip, you press and hold it, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm not sure if that's it or not. How about the reset button? One, two, three, four. Five, 
yeah, it was the reset button. Excuse me. So the trip button will get you to the oil life monitor, and then the reset button will get you back up to 100. Okay? See ya. Oh, here is one more little quickie thing. This is the uh, report that you're going to get uh, that has the mileage, the date you change the oil, and all these parts per million of all those metals, viscosity, stuff like that. Okay.